All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and keep going now that the now that the focus is fixed. Uh, part two. If you didn't see the first part, I got this far, and then the camera got fuzzy because I was showing up closes of the brush. But shoot, maybe maybe there's some grassy things. So, like so. Now, once we have our valley here, which I feel like I could have done a better valley. I sometimes feel like I do better with the fan brush, but let's just go ahead and make some trees. Shoot. Shoot. Let's just do the same thing we did before. Make some trees. Loading the fan brush in the same color that we did for these background trees here. And what am I going to do over here? We'll find out about that later. For now, though, let's see. Okay, so let's have, yeah, let's have one that lives like right there. And then just with the corner zigzagging back and forth. This guy lives right down here. Mm, nice. See, and that pushes the valley back. Pushes the valley back now. I'm gonna have to get some more color here. Should have done that before. Before I restart the video. And mm -hmm. pretty much gonna do that with trees all the way. Yeah. Midnight black. Get our color back. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Just a little squirt there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Watch the difference. Well, hmm. And then we've got some more little tree guys going on here. Like so. Ah, and we'll have and we'll have a big one. I'm gonna even grab some blue. Just trying to use all the colors on the palette. Grabbing that blue. Grabbing right through the black and the green and the brown. So here. Wiggle. And maybe he's got kind of sad, kind of sad feeling limbs on the top and at the bottom, it grows up a bit more. There we go. I'm liking that. That added a feeling of completion to that corner. In the background here. Some, some semblance that those trees continue on. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Boom. No. Boom. 
None. None. Oh, none. But I can't find that name That's what I think about Alexa. Dun, dun. Now. Now. A big tree over here. Yeah, maybe he's maybe he's hanging in. What's hanging in? Yeah. Something like this. There we go. When we highlight that, it'll be, it'll be beautiful. Matter of fact, I think I'll just, matter of fact, I think I'll just fill in color. Some real dark areas there. And more shadows down here. We want this to be real dark. Now, dun, 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 dun. now we just keep doing these trees. Yeah. I need more color again. Some of them are tall. And that guy comes down a little hill right there. Okay. Halo. Midnight. And Van Dyke. And Dark Brown. Yeah, there we go. Now we will have some color that we can use. There's some black, shoot, there's some brown, and there's some phthalo green. And Mm. See these trees push those in that valley way back, way back. Let's shoot. Maybe, maybe they're taller over here on the edge. All right. This is why I like doing smaller canvases because. A lot easier to cover the canvas. You don't have to reload 600 times. But we'll just keep reloading and keep building little tree forests. I'm gonna make this dark enough. Maybe we'll give something to work with at the bottom. Here we go. Just have some fun. Ooh, that was a thick one. Huh? That was a thick one. 
Need some skinnier guys. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying to randomly vary the sizes. Something like so. Then we'll make some dark ones. There we go. And I want to make about two more trees, maybe, just to push push it back into the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, that tree was back in there. There we go. There we go. See, that tree's back there. Shoot, maybe you can even, just to make it certain that it is back there. You can, oh, yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. A nice little highlight over there. And then, let's see, I think there's... There we go, get those textures happening. Oh, interesting, interesting tree there. Get it dark there on the edge. There you look like there's some trees. And one more little guy. I want it to feel like he's farther away, this little guy. There. Now, we're going to have a boulder here. Something like so. Big old stone. We'll have him even come from off the canvas. Make it bigger too. Heck, so we've got a 16 by 20 canvas to use here. And then we're going to do a valley back behind him again. Another valley like we had last time. Put some paint on there. And just keep that nice, soft mistiness there. The light blue color is helping us. I'm almost going to want this valley to be flatter. It'll come from over here. Heck. Heck. Let's try to put a valley on top of that. And see, there's a little light underneath the trees back there still. Let's do -do 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 -do. Back to this brush. Back to our yellow. Tapping, maybe a touch of the red. Tapping. And. Reload when you need to. Oh yeah. 
Added a slight bit of bright red. Uh, give it an orangish, orangish feel. I want to do this. is a beautiful scenery, but it takes practice to get these fields the way that you want them to feel. <laughs> these grassy fields back there, they're not. I mean, all you do is just tap, but you know, takes a little, takes a little getting used to, I think. Where you put the highlights and then the not so highlighted areas and the angle that you do it at. Let's do just a tiny, Tiny bit more of that yellow, just to get us a nice highlight for maybe back here. Yeah, see that? Don't overdo. Don't overdo it. Just kind of blend that downwards. Beautiful. A hell of a valley, you ask me. You ask me. Now, now, let's take a big chunk of Van Dyke here and grab some bright red. Took some Van Dyke, put it right here, grab some bright red. Van Dyke's brown. Brown and red are friends of mine. I like to mix them together. I like to just mix those. There we go. Then when we add highlights, it'll be beautiful. Call that up. Smash it off the back side of the knife. Put it back down. Wipe off the knife. And let's make ourselves a path here. I need to pull this closer so it's out here and workable. It's making a mess. Put the lid back on this guy. And yeah, sure. This back and take our brown along the bottom here. It's tiny on this side. Comes all the way across and finishes somewhere past the center. Oh. Mm. Try to get those, try to get those dry chunks. And if you need to use the small, small edge. Sorry if the video is glitching. Bear with me for a second here. Just trying to get this brown on. Even some over there. I'm gonna cover this corner up with grass.
walking path will end like right here. Just so you know. Now, uh, just take some white, play it right across that. Now, at first, it'll be pure white, but the more you play it across, it instantly changes colors. So, come back across the white. You can add some red if you want. Beautiful. I think when you put red in your dirt. All right. Now, holding this up so I can do it without being down here. I think it's easier. Just want to do this kind of quickly so you're not watching me do dirt for an hour. There we go. I think there's some nice highlights in there, nice little shadows. Heck. We're almost, almost got a completed painting, I think. Make that look like dirt if you want to. That's not my plan, however. Bring back our paper towel. Wipe off the knife. Oh yeah, we can make that stone over there. Let's do that. We do that with black. So now instead of the Van Dyke, pure black. Well, I'm running out of space here. Maybe I'll set this over here. Nice. Big old stone. And he lives right there. Big old guy. And then you can put darks around for high, your highlights will stand out over that. You just do that for this whole underneath the dirt there getting messy today i think messiest time i've ever painted yeah right there that'll make those highlights stand out when we put them down there what highlights hang on a minute and you'll see <laughs> now we got our now we're gonna grab white Make it gray. There we go. And just do like a circular shape. It kind of looks like the top of a stone, top of a rock going on up there. Some white. And then back to the gray. Mm -hmm. And that, my friend, is supposed to be a rock. I think. There we go. Get some of that pure white up there. Get some shadows back in. Get some shadows back in there. And back to the pure white. Just like a baby mountain. Just like a baby mountain. And he lives there. That's our rock. Now, to finish up this painting, thank you so much if you've watched this. Man, I wasn't very clean this time. I think the dirtiest, dirtiest time I ever painted. I'm just gonna take as much green as I can and we need to make some grassy things right down here. And I didn't have enough, so once again, a bit more yellow. A bit more yellow. But that'll be just about all we need. 
And now we got a 16 by 20 version of this painting. I did a smaller one a few days ago. If you ask me, I think it came out better. Maybe I'll show you here right before the end, but yeah, just add some highlights to your grassy area down there. And then it leads up to the path. And maybe this area is a mixture of grass and dirt, things going on. Make sure your grass comes down to the edge of the path. There we go. There we go. Touch up your dirt, wherever you want. But we have, ladies and gentlemen, completed a masterpiece. I don't know how long it took, maybe an hour and a half or so. Oh, I'll see you scrape through it. Careful, just put that back on there. <laughs> and then flatten it out, make it look like a, make it look a little nicer to walk across there. Mm, nice. All right. And shoot, I only think we used these three tools here. So you can do this painting with these three tools. <laughs> If you want to, if you want to, you can load more highlight color in the brush. I don't want too much over here, but this will kind of give that tree a completed look. Goes off the top. There we go. Excellent. And if you feel like it got too bright, let me turn this towards you. If you feel like it got too bright, then you can always darken up the edges. There we go. Nice, it's a nice painting. Funny thing about these is, I end up liking them more over time. I find I like my paintings the least when I first complete them. There, don't destroy all the darks, keep it dark down here. There we go. Maybe extra dark. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go, made a big old shadow. And that, ladies and gentlemen, if this looks really weird later, I might connect both of those trees together. Keep that in mind if you want. But I'll be back in the future with more landscape paintings, tutorials like this one to throw your way. I mean, if you really want to, you can put Let's just do it for, for entertainment purposes. Take some green. Yeah. Just subtly put some green in that guy. Sweet. See you next time. <laughs>